Hello, friends. Once again, we're presenting our TV Neighbors film session, and today we're visiting Lake City, Florida. We're located here in the Lusty Park, right across from the Columbia County Courthouse. We have a lot of the city dignitaries with us. Of course, the Columbia High School Band is here under the direction of uh, Mr. Albert Cena, and we'll hear from them later on in our program. But first of all, we would like to introduce you to the mayor of uh, Lake City. He's here on the far end. I'm going down the line here and get a brief word from all those represented. Mayor uh, uh, Hagen, it's mighty pleasant to be here. Well, it's mighty fine to have you people here. On behalf of the city, I'd like to welcome Zenith Traveling TV unit to Lake City. I know it's going to give us a lot of nice publicity, and we're mighty glad to have you people come see us. Well, I'm sure we're going to enjoy ourselves. Is this your first term as mayor? No, sir, this is my third. I'm just beginning my third term. I see. In other words, there was an election here just a week ago, wasn't it? Just a short time ago. And you're back in office. That's right. Splendid, and congratulations. Thank you, sir. And right here, right here, friends, we have the sheriff of Columbia County, Mr. Ralph Witt. And, Mr. Witt, something for our TV audience out there. Well, we are proud, as Sheriff of Columbia County, I'd like to say we welcome traveling television to Lake City and to Columbia County. And on behalf of the city and county, we appreciate uh, DuBose Cox and Witt Electric Company making it available for our television, for Lake City to be on television. And we don't want to forget that you have big doings coming up here in June, isn't that right? We do. We are, I am host sheriff for the 38th Annual Sheriff's Convention on June the 12th and 13th. And I'd like to welcome all the sheriffs of Florida and uh, the United States and all the citizens that can uh, come to our convention on June the 12th and 13th of 1951. Well, I'm sure we have a lot of peace officers looking in out there right today. Thank you, Sheriff Witt. Uh, right on down the line, friends, you gentlemen will have to pardon my standing here in front of you. We have a, a representative from the uh, newspaper here. Let me see. Who is this? Eddie Roselle. Eddie Roselle. Uh, Eddie, what have you got to say for our visit to Lake City? Well, I tell you, it gives me great pleasure to be a part of this program, and being advertisement is my business, uh, not only for the merchants. I try to advertise for Lake City and for the merchants also, and... Uh, this is a great thing for Lake City, and I'm for it 100% and do anything in my power to continue to do as I do. Well, thank you a lot, Eddie. We've been given a grand reception here in Lake City, friends, and a great many of the townspeople, and as I mentioned before, the uh, city dignitaries have turned out. I have right here uh, the uh, county judge here at Lake City, the county judge, uh, Mr. Archie Bowie. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. What have you got to say to our <clears throat> television audience? Well, I'd like to say that... Uh, I am proud to have a part in this first televised show of Lake City. We are proud of our town and county, and we hope that uh, a lot of you will visit us. But since you haven't had a chance to, well, this gives you a chance to see what we actually have here. Well, believe me, Archie, there's a great many things you have here. We haven't yet started on our tour of the city exactly yet, this being the highlight of the whole occasion, but we look forward to seeing many things. Well, fine. Thank you for thank, coming. Thank you, sir. And, uh, pardon me from walking in front of you here, we've got here the Chamber of Commerce representative, Eddie Baumel, who, who assisted us greatly, friends, in preparing this show on Lake City. Eddie? Mr. Adams, we're delighted to participate in this series of TV neighbor programs. We think that it serves a very uh, fine purpose and get folks to know something about Lake City, and we, in turn, get to know something about our TV neighbors. Well, that's splendid, Eddie, and thank you for those kind words. And right over here, we have the student representative from Columbia High School. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's, uh, this is Ann... Uh, Barker. Ann Barker. Yes, sir. Ann, what have you to say to all the uh, teenagers out there? <laughs> Well, I think that this television series is wonderful, and I know that all the students out at school are real thrilled over it. Well, I, I, I imagine they are. Now, go ahead. You got something else to say? Well, in particular? no, sir. Yeah, I don't believe so. a splendid band there in the background. <laughs> yes, sir. We a charming shall have. person you are. Thank, Thank you, you a lot. And let me see. Right over here, we have the city attorney. I didn't catch your name, but we'll get it right now. W.H. Wilson, Jr. Mr. Wilson, what have you got to say for our visit to your city? It has been my privilege to work on the several different mayors of Lake City. After the election is over, I found it that we all get together and work for a better and larger Lake City and Columbia County. And it's a grand place to be, I believe me. We all like it here and request any people who come to Lake City make it a point to visit White Springs and the great institution over there 
Oh, is it Foster and Memorial? Mm -hmm. Now, a little later on today, we are going to run out there and uh, picture that for our TV neighbors. Thank you a lot, sir, for appearing on Thank our show. Thank you kindly. Well, friends, so that takes care of these individuals. Friends, having talked with the uh, city officials and various other dignitaries here at Lake City, why we naturally uh, wanted to just a word or so from those representing the church life, the Christian life of the city. And consequently, we have just a few of those folks right here now. Uh, Dr. Montgomery, a uh, word from you, sir. Well, we're proud of everything in Lake City, but I think we're showing you the very best when we show you our children. We're proud of this fine group of, in the band and all of these children that are around here today. Well, fine, thank you, Doctor. Dr. Montgomery represents the Presbyterian faith here, and uh, right here is Reverend uh, Kestline. Is that right, sir? Reverend Kestline, come right over here, please. I had your name in that order. Uh, Lake City is the most delightful city I've been privileged to serve as a minister, both as to climatic condition as, and as to people. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you a great deal. And uh, Reverend Barnes, the Baptist faith? Mighty happy to be in Lake City. We think it's a wonderful city. We appreciate our Christian uh, influence here in Lake City. And uh, there is a lot of it, I understand, sir. Uh, Reverend Dryman of the Church of God. We appreciate the welcome we receive coming into Lake City, the Ministerial Association, also of the people around about here that appreciate old-time religion and that will help humanity. Thank you, sir. And Reverend McDonald of the Christian Church. We're certainly happy to be in Lake City as residents, and we're certainly happy to be a part of this service here today. We're Thank proud of all of the people and all of the activities of Lake City. Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, quickly over here, would you mind stepping up this way just a little bit? Come on, Sandra. We have the young lady who has been chosen Miss Zenith by the student body of the Columbia High School here, Sandra uh, Finlayson. Isn't that right, Sandra? That's I, right. I made it. She has that banner, Miss Zenith, there. And uh, Mr. Uh, DuBose and uh, Mr. Uh, Witt are going to give to the mayor a fine Zenith portable uh, radio set to present to Sandra, if you will, please. Ms. Zenith, on behalf of the DuBose Cox Company and the Wet Electric Company, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to present this beautiful radio to you. I know it will give you a lot of pleasure, and I know these gentlemen are most happy that you, that you have it. Thank you, sir. It certainly is a big thrill to be selected as Ms. Zenith from Columbia High School. Thank you, Sandra. You want to get up a little closer for our audience? Come just a little closer. And I know that you'll be mighty proud of that fine, portable zenith. It'll give you a lot of pleasure. There's no doubt about it. Thanks, sir. And we also invite you to travel along with us today as we uh, tour throughout Lake City. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you. And now a chance to hear the Columbia High School band here in Lake City under the direction of Albert Cena. are the teachers, Miss Williams and Miss Atkins, the second grade of the Central Elementary, and uh, Mrs. Niblack's uh, nursery school. A lot of the youngsters are right here, so if we could just put the camera right over here on this little lady. Step right out here, honey, will you? 
right out here and face that way so we can get the sunshine right on you. What is your name? Barbara. And which school do you go to? Mouse Park. You do? Mm-hmm. And who's your teacher? Miss Atkins. And I'll bet she's a swell teacher too, isn't she, huh? Mm-hmm. What happened to those uh, front teeth? <laughs> Got them out. <laughs> you did, huh? It's plenty. Let me see if I can get this young fellow with a bow tie on. He's all dressed up. Over here quickly, son. All right, step right over here. And right, what is your name? Douglas. Douglas? Douglas what? Thomas. And uh, you're at Mellows Park School? Yes, ma'am. Well, inasmuch as we have pictured some of the youngsters of the uh, grammar schools here at Lake City, we would like to picture for you now and get a word or so from the teachers who teach these fine children. And your name, please? Miss Williams. And what do you think of our visit to Lake City? Oh, I think it's mighty fine. And I think it's plenty of you all to bring the youngsters down here today. Thank you a great deal. Mm-hmm. Pardon me, and a word from you. Your name? Miss Armstrong. And which school do you represent, Miss Armstrong? Central Elementary. Central Elementary. Mm-hmm. Thanks a lot for coming down today. And over here, I know your name is Miss Williams. Miss uh, Atkins. Atkins. I'm sorry, I had Miss Williams over there. Miss Atkins, uh, your school is which one? Melrose Park. Melrose Park. And how many students did you bring down today? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Out of my room. That's a job, isn't it? It certainly is. Thanks a lot for visiting us. Thank you a great deal. Now, we have several friends over here. Pardon me, friends, for turning my back to the camera. I'd like to take this lady right here, Mrs. Ray Littlefield. Uh, uh, Would you step up here just to uh, wave, Miss Littlefield? She's past president of the Lake City Garden Clubs, and she's representing them today on our TV show. Just a word from you, Mrs. Littlefield. Well, I'm always happy to put in a word to the Garden Club of Lake City because it stands for beautification. The Lysalia Circle of the Lake City Garden Club is now beautifying and landscaping this park. Well, thank you a great deal, and a splendid job they have done around Lake City. Gentlemen, would you come up here, please, sir? I have Dr. Alan J. Freeman of the uh, First Baptist Church of Lake City. Uh, doctor, just hey. a word for our TV audience. How are you this morning? Good, Good to see morning. all of you. Well, yeah. it's splendid for you to, to have you on our show. Thank you. We appreciate this privilege very much and enjoy watching the film of, of this. Well, you will enjoy it. Yes, sir, I'm yes. sure of that. And we also have uh, Ray Duckworth, the musical director of the First Baptist Church. Uh, Mr. Duckworth? We're mighty happy to be here and see all these children and all of the people of Lake City. This is a wonderful occasion for us. We're all having a grand time, aren't we? It's a wonderful time. Thank you, sir. Well, we have some youngsters here. Here's a little fellow in a striped blazer, and I know that he wants to step right out here, son, and tell us your name. Roy. What's your last name? Messer. And uh, which school do you attend, Roy? Well, splendid. And what about this little lady right here, this sweet little girl? Here, come over here, honey. And what is My your... name is Mary Ponce It is. How old are you? Oh, that's sweet. She holds up four fingers, and that's one way of telling you her age. And uh, you go to uh, Melrose, do you? Which I'll school? I'll go into the med- medical. Well, nursery school, splendid. You're a sweet little girl. Well, that friends takes care of our interviews here in a lusty park in Lake City. It's been grand meeting so many, many people and children, and I do know that UTV... At 30 Marion Street here in Lake City, Florida, it's located the Wind Electric Company. I have right here with me, besides this fine Zenith television set, Mr. Bill Witt, the proprietor of Wind Electric Company. A few words for our audience, Mr. Witt. Well, I'm the owner of Wind Electric Company, and I'm a Zenith dealer. Been a Zenith dealer for about two years, and I've refined these sets, performed beautifully in Lake City. And we appreciate the crowds that we've had here today for this TV show. We hope they'll come back to see us again. Well, I'm sure they will. And uh, if you want to see Zenith, of course, you can see it at Wood Electric Company. I happen to have a Zenith owner by coincidence right here beside me today. He was walking along and said he was a Zenith owner. And Mr. Orville Eblen. Uh, how are you, Mr. Eblen? Just fine. Well, Thank you, into the camera Adams. there and tell folks what you think about Zenith. Well, I think they're a wonderful set. I, I tried several sets out in comparison, and the Zenith outperformed all of them. Well, we're mighty happy to hear those kind words, those fine words. And I know you'll get many, many, many more hours of enjoyment out of that zenith. Thank, Thank you, you a lot, Mr. Everett. And of course, friends, this fine zenith set right here, I'd like to point out one thing. Remember, on the zenith, you always get this tag of guarantee, this guarantee. 
If a station opens with an ultra-high-frequency channel, well, here is your guarantee that your zenith does not have to have an inverter or adapter, or it doesn't have to be tampered with. You'll find that fastened to every fine zenith television set. And, of course, our visit here with the uh, Witt Electric employees, Mr. Witt at 30 Marion Street, has been mighty enjoyable also. We'd like to drop around and see the Zenith dealers in every town we visit. Tom Harding, who stands here beside me, friends, uh, works here at Witt Electric Company. He's a salesman here, and he could say a few words for uh, Zenith, and I'm sure that you'd all enjoy hearing. Tom? Well, I think Zenith is true to the slogan, year ahead. I think it's a very nice deal. Uh, anybody that would uh, be interested in seeing a demonstration would be glad for them to come around and be glad to demonstrate it to them any time. You wouldn't mind installing one in their home at all, would you? I uh, sure wouldn't. And uh, on weekends, he goes out and catches an awful lot of fish, I understand. There's a lot of fish around Lake City. Thank you a lot, Tom. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs>
We're visiting now friends still another Zenith dealer in Lake City, Florida, the firm of DuBose and Cox at 812 North Marion Street. And uh, in just a moment here, I'd like to present to you Mr. Kenneth Cox, one of the uh, owners of this firm of DuBose. We have both owners of the firm of DuBose and Cox with us here today, and I have here Kenneth Cox. Mr. Cox, would you say something for our TV camera in regard to Zenith television? You know, this scares me a whole lot anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's scary. Anyway, we've, uh, we've handled and sold Zenith products for about 12 years now, since That's about right. 1938, uh -huh. when we first started, and we like them. And you also found out that it isn't difficult to sell the Zenith name. After all, Zenith is an old name. People know Zenith. Hey, always a year ahead. That's right, a year ahead, believe me. And the fine TV sets we have displayed on the walk here in back of us are an example of that. Now, on my right here, still another uh, owner of the firm, Mr. A.D. DuBose, who is not only sells Zenith, but owns a Zenith television. Yeah, I have the 19-inch uh, console TV in my house with the oval round two. I like the round tube much better than the oval. You get, well, as they say, with a 19-inch round tube, you get the same as a 24-inch rectangular picture. And that's very true. And don't you think that television is bringing a lot to people in outlying areas? Television is bringing a lot to uh, outlying areas in Lake City and as well as the surrounding countryside. We've sold quite a few Zenith TVs out in the country, and they really enjoy the the TV pictures that's coming in on Zenith Television. Well, dear friends, you have the words of a gentleman who not only sells Zenith Television, but also owns a Zenith Television set. And of course, you can always stop right in here at DuBois and Cox at 812 North Main in Lake City, and they'll be only too glad to tell you all about the merits of Zenith. Thank you a lot, Mr. DuBois, for talking with Thank us you. today. Thank you. Pleasure visiting with you. And here in the background, of course, we have a fine array of the Zenith Television set. Smith Zenith prominently displayed right in the center there. We met quite a few friends here at DuBose and Cox uh, in uh, Lake City, and I have right here Mr. Phillips. Mr. Phillips is a TV viewer, and I'd like to have him say just a few words for television in general in outlying sections. Well, Bernie, I believe we get pretty good reception in Lake City. Uh, of course, I do have a Zenith, and I found that the reception is very good. Of course, we are all looking forward to more and stronger stations in Jacksonville, which we hope will improve our reception over here. But uh, I'd say probably 90% of the time, our reception is very, very good. Well, thank you, Mr. Phillips. And uh, now, friends, just a glance at all the uh, uh, employees here at DuBose and Cox. Again, Miss Zenith brings up the far end. <laughs>